On Friday, June 24th, the United States was rocked by the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, an almost 50 year old decision that gave women the right to make decisions with their pregnancies. People across the country and even internationally have been up in arms over the decision, and many celebrities have been using their platforms to speak out about the situation. One such celebrity was American singer, songwriter, and rapper Lizzo. She is often spoken up about loving yourself and bodily autonomy, so here's what she had to say about the decision. She put out a tweet pledging to donate $500,000 from her upcoming tour to Planned Parenthood, and she also said that Live Nation would be matching the donation to make it $1 million. She also added a tweet that said, Black women and women of color have historically had disproportionately less access to family planning resources. This is a great loss, but not a new one. Go to HTTP colon slash slash lizzolovesyou.com to donate, sign the bans off my body petition, and sign up to volunteer and take action. Many people have also chosen to match Lizzo's sentiment of how BIPOC women have been disproportionately affected, and said that the decision by the Supreme Court was mostly an attack on BIPOC and less financially well off women. She also added another tweet saying, the most important thing is action and loud voices. At PPFA and organizations like them will need funding to continue offering services to people who are most harmed by this ban. This of course is an absolutely tremendous and generous donation coming from Lizzo, but like I said, she isn't the only celebrity to use her platform and speak out, so let's go over a few more. On stage, Megan Lee Stallion spoke out to her audience saying, Texas really embarrassing me right now. Y'all know that's my home state, and I wanted on the record that the mother effing hot girls and hot boys do not support this bullshit that y'all are campaigning for, and she then got her crowd to chant, my body, my mother effing choice. Many other performers also took the time on stage to speak directly to their fans. Billie Eilish said, it's about the concept of power and how we need to always remember not to abuse it. And today is a really dark day for women in the US, and I'm just gonna say that cause I can't bear to think about it any longer in this moment. Olivia Rodrigo said, I'm devastated and terrified that so many women and so many girls are going going to die because of this. I want to dedicate this song to the five members of the Supreme Court who have showed us that at the end of the day, they don't truly give a sh about freedom. This song goes out to the justices Samuel Alito, Clarence Thomas, Neil Gorsuch, Amy Coney Barrett, and Brett Kavanaugh. We hate you. Her naming all the Supreme Court judges who had voted yes to the decision before singing the song F you. Lord said, your bodies were destined to be controlled and objectified since you were born. That horror is your birthright. But here's another secret. You possess strength. That wisdom is also your birthright. I ask you today to make exercising that wisdom your life's work because everything depends on it. And it wasn't just women either. Many male performers also stopped to take the time to offer their thoughts. At the end of Kendrick Lamar's set, he wore a crown covered in thorns and chanted, they judge you, they judge Christ, Godspeed for women's rights, all while fake blood dripped down his face. And Joe Talbot said the following before singing the song Mother. This is for every mother and every woman and her right to choose. Long live the open-minded. Long live my mother and long live every single one of you. And many more celebrities are commenting on the situation as every day passes. Celebrities and the rest of the population have all been incredibly outspoken regarding their thoughts on the situation, and social media has been absolutely taken over with posts and messages about it. As time goes on, we can unfortunately only wait and see how the situation moves forward, and this is all I have for you for now. I've been your host, Woody. Join us next time for more.